Hi guys! Finally today I'm showing my dormitory at my French university. I lived and studied in France during COVID in 2021. I've been there for one semester and of course I lived at the dormitory and I know that many people are actually interested in what <laughs> local dormitories would look like would look like. And also another thing to remember is that I lived in Cannes, it's in Normandy and of course the price for the dormitory there it's less expensive than for example in paris or in other big french cities so here is the reception on one of the campuses uh, our university is quite big so it has several campuses and that's the first one there are several buildings uh, where the students can live and every building has its own uh, letter yeah, so quite there yeah, are quite many rooms and many other areas which I'm going to show you in a second. What I love about France is that already in January some plants uh, were blooming, so it's amazing. Here on the territory um, you can see several sport fields, those are basketball and volleyball fields. And here are also several uh, university canteens on the territory where you can buy a meal that would cost you starting from 1 euro up to 3 euro 60. If you want to see what food you can actually eat at those canteens, make sure to check out this video. So let's go to my building, that's how our yard uh, looks. In order to get inside of the building you have this electronic key and each key is uh, unique for every building. So for example, I cannot use my key to enter the building that is um, in front of my building. An interesting thing that was one of my culture shocks is the fact that in France, in all the buildings, there is the zero floor. So if somebody tells you that you live on the first floor, well, it does mean that you actually live on the first floor, most probably you will need to go to the second floor. And that would happen to me. Actually, uh, here are on the first floor uh, different rooms uh, where you can work and study, um, different types of rooms like with uh, computers, or like big rooms for like big meetings and stuff. Also this like lounge area when you can sit and chill and you can also play table football theme. Here are also post uh, boxes. Each room has its own post box. And here is also uh, some shelves where you can uh, leave some stuff, clothes that you don't need anymore. Uh, here you can see the inner yard. And uh, another thing that I actually loved about this university is that the campus, the first campus is situated on the hill. So you can actually uh, see the whole city from our campus. There was uh, really nice and there is a great view from the canteen, for example. So let's go and see my room. Let's start from the door because on the door you can see the sticker uh, on how to actually recycle on uh, the garbage that was also really nice however well i didn't find really many trash cans with the um, different types of garbage only like basic ones so this is areas like my super tiny kitchen i have here the kettle um, some other food and also fridge um, but the thing is that when I turn on the kettle and the fridge at the same time the electricity just uh, stops working so I have to use one thing and here is a really huge wardrobe I really didn't understand why they decided to put here a super huge wardrobe because the room is literally tiny and here is the actual room so here I have like a working uh, place uh, with a table, uh, the chair, the uh, light in this area, it can be switched on both uh, here near, near the uh, near the wardrobe and also uh, near, near the bed. And this um, 
board was also here initially and I was uh, pleasantly shocked uh, because it's nice you can put all the notes uh, here I have some shelves above my above my bed well since I don't have really like lots of stuff they are half empty um, but anyway yeah like I can see I can say that uh, this room has lots of uh, room for storage here from my room the view is also nice when everything started uh, blooming it was even better um, but the problem that I faced the bed is near the window and the window and the wall under the window were super cold and I was actually freezing at night and I also used the curtain um, because it prevented like the like the wind from, 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 from the window so it was that bad you know here is another table that I almost never use and let's go to the bathroom so this room is tiny it's only nine square meters and the fact that there is this uh, huge bathroom inside it makes it even tinier but I really love the fact that I have my own bathroom and that and that I'm here alone in my room that is nice but yeah this bathroom actually reminds me of a toilet or bathroom on the plane here is the toilet the sink and this uh, shower but what I also loved about the room that uh, the dormitory actually uh, gave me some things like this shower curtain here they even gave me um, uh, like sheets blanket a pillow oh, well maybe they're not like the best but i had even something that was really nice let's finally go to the kitchen we have one kitchen per floor and this room is an actual disaster uh, because i don't know why or how but all the students at least on my floor they leave everything super filthy so the sinks they can be filled with like pasta and the water is stuck there and cannot go through so it's just really like the kitchen was the least favorite place or pleasing place to go to in the dorms so I tried to cook everything I could in my room but anyway if I needed to fry or boil anything I needed to go to the kitchen here from the window uh, we could see the campus so you can understand how like the building where the building is situated and what is also very comfortable is that this tram line uh, goes through the campus which is great so we have this uh, tram a tram stop just uh, I don't know like two minutes away from my building which is great and you can go to the city center to any like, grocery stores which is super nice friends that are having a washing machine in the apartment is not very popular so in the city there are plenty of laundries uh, everywhere in, in our campus we have our own like a university laundry room and the prices there were cheaper than the ones uh, in the city uh, so yeah and uh, the system is really interesting so you choose a washing machine number on the, on this like <laughs> machine another machine you pay by your student card or your or your bank card uh, so anyhow you want and and then you just wait and you pay not only for uh, for the usage of this washing machine but also for the powder that the machine will use to clean your clothes let me know in the comments below how you like the dormitory room uh, from my side I should say that it was it was okay living there but not like 100% comfortable because it's just tiny with the bathroom inside but overall it's just also a place I will remember forever because I spent so much time there and and mostly alone because covid hi <laughs> yeah that was it see you in another video bye bye